Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Fat Blokes Shorts. Did you know that VirtualBox can support both 32-bit and 64-bit guests? We've had a lot of people ask us, how do you support the 64-bit guests? And so this episode of the Fat Blokes Shorts is to explain how we do it. In order to support 64-bit guests, VirtualBox uses some of the advanced features of modern CPUs. So Intel or AMD CPUs that are both 64-bit capable, but also have some virtualization features built into them. So one of the prerequisites is that we need a 64-bit capable uh, CPU that has VTX, that's the Intel technology for supporting virtualization technologies, or AMD V capable CPU. One thing to note with AMD is that quite often the systems may be shipped with the BIOS uh, having it disabled, so you may need to turn that on. And VirtualBox supports 64-bit guests even when the host platform is 32-bit. And that's a big deal because you don't really want to have to reinstall your host platform to a 64-bit platform simply to be able to run the odd one or two 64-bit guests. So how do we do it? This is how. Let me switch to VirtualBox. And it's very straightforward. All I need to do is when I create a new virtual machine, and let's say I want to install Microsoft's new uh, Windows Server 2008 uh, R2 uh, system, which has just become recently available. One of the things I would do is create a Microsoft Windows operating system that was 64-bit. So you'll notice that some of the options I have here have the 64-bit uh, uh, postfix on the description and I need to choose one of them. If my PC was not hardware capable, didn't have a 64-bit capable CPU or didn't have the uh, virtualization extensions uh, turned on, then I would not see these 64-bit um, strings on the end of my uh, systems here. So that's an indication that you can't do it. But if you have got it, like me, I just simply choose it. You do then go on and create your hard drive as usual and that's all there is to it, to creating a 64-bit guest. You will notice that uh, some of the uh, fields in our general section here have got VTX AMD enabled, and that's one of the important fields that needs to be enabled, and that will be done by default by selecting the 64-bit template. So all I now need to do is decide which 64-bit operating system I'm going to install. So uh, one of the things that Microsoft have made available is Windows Server 2008. So I'm simply going to plug in that virtual ISO image and turn on my virtual machine and Windows will start up. As it's coming up, let me just point out down here at the uh, bottom right hand corner in the status bar that you will see that VirtualBox gives you an indication that the VTX AMD V technology is enabled which is a telltale sign that you're running or <coughs> um, well, that's what you need to be able to run a 64-bit guest. And there you are. Windows Server 2008 R2. It's only available as a 64-bit operating system. Um, so you need VirtualBox's 64-bit capability to be able to run it. One limitation of the 64-bit implementation uh, in VirtualBox is that although you can run multiple 64-bit operating systems at the same time, and just as an example, here is uh, Windows 7 64-bit, uh, which I had installed previously, and you can tell it's 64-bit because it says so right here. You can run multiple 64-bit systems and 32-bit systems concurrently, but you can't mix VMs that have got VTX enabled with VMs that have not got VTX enabled. So here's my uh, an old Windows XP VM that I've got, which is not running VTX enabled. When I start this one up, you'll see the virtual box will remind me that you're already using a VM that's using hardware acceleration. So what I would need to do is I would need to um, stop my 64-bit um, um, guest or my VM that's enabled with VTX emulation before I could then start my 
uh, old Windows XP that wasn't using VTX emulation. Voila! Now, if you want to run two at the same time, one of the easiest things you can simply do is just stop Windows XP and change the settings in here to enable VTX to enable you to run 32-bit and 64-bit guests alongside of each other at the same time. That's it for this week's episode. What we saw this week was what a piece of cake it is to create 64-bit guests on VirtualBox. Join us again soon on Fat Bloke TV. Thank you.